Y'all doing all right today? All praises, man. So we are the sons of Jacob, right? We are here to teach our people who they are according to the Bible. And we're going to bring some of these scriptures out, man. Y'all ain't never heard the Bible like this before. This is not your average Christian message, man. Right. We're actually teaching the Bible. We're actually giving you edification and understanding based off of these scriptures. Let me give one a first call, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 32. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 7. Bring it out. Remember the days of old. God said to do what? Remember, remember the, the days, days of old. old. The Most High God said to remember the days of old. He didn't say to forget it. He didn't say to forget the days of old. We're supposed to remember the days of old, right? Just like how America remembers 9-11. We're right. supposed to remember the days of old. Come on. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. A lot of times these elders, they have the understanding of what happened in the past, right? They have the understanding of what happened. How did the, uh, the uh, so-called African-Americans get here to America? How did the Native Indians, the Hispanics, get over here to, to America? The blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native Indians, y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That's said the Bible. Y'all are the true Israelites, man. If y'all never heard it before, you heard it now. Did you say something? No, sir. No, let's go on and touch on that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Yeah. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. That's it. All right, so we're supposed to find out. We're supposed to ask our fathers. Hey, man, what happened? There was a tragic incident that happened to uh, our beloved sister, Sandra, um, Sonia Massey, man. Right? That was a travesty, man, that happened here in America. Right? So if you asked our forefathers, they would always tell you, let me get uh, Ecclesiastes, I think, 7 to 7 or 7 to 8. Uh, no, I'm talking about enemy. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, what did you say? Never trust. You know what I'm sorry? Never trust my enemy. Is that a sign? Never trust my enemy? Yeah. Sorry. Damn, I what am I thinking? Man, listen, I know, right? But yeah, if you asked your forefathers and your foremothers, hey, do we supposed to trust the people, the other nations around us? They're going to tell you, man, hey, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. That's right. right? You're supposed to ask your forefathers and your foremothers, and they're going to tell you. No, you can't trust them. That's what that right. say? You got that? Yes, sir. Let me get that. The book of Sirach. Chapter 12 and verse 10. No. Never trust thine enemy. The Bible said what? Never trust thine enemy. Hey, I don't know if y'all ever heard this in the Bible, but the Bible said what? Never, Never trust thine enemy. For as, For as like iron rusted, so no. is his wickedness. And so Sonia Massey, man, she needed to hear that message. She called the cops. She didn't know that those cops were her enemies. That's right. The Bible says that you have enemies. That's you have right. natural born enemies. And I'm not just talking about the people that you claim to love. I'm talking about these other nations, man. We're not supposed to be calling on these other nations for help. That was a hell, that was a horrible thing that happened to our sister, man. Right? We need strong men to stand up in these last days to actually take care of our women. Right? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, y'all are the true Israelites according to the Bible. What you got, King? All right, but the Bible says to never trust your enemy. Right? Go ahead. This is Zechariah 11, verse 4. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Right, so they hold themselves not guilty. They'll come and they'll kill our people. They'll kill our brothers and our sisters, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. They'll uh, steal them. They'll, uh, 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 we got a whole lot of kidnappings Kidnapping. on the reservation. Right. Our blacks, uh, our, our so-called black sisters, our Native American sisters. Right? And they hold themselves not guilty, man. The Bible was giving us understanding. It says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. This is what's going to sustain you in these last days. This is what's going to get you through the hell that's getting ready to come upon the earth. Is the wisdom and knowledge of the Bible. And it tells us to never trust our enemy. You got more on that? God. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Right. Hey, brother, hey, y'all got time to hear the Bible? Go ahead. No time? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got time? Hey, man, let me show you one scripture real quick. You might not have. I'm going to show y'all one scripture, man. Y'all probably never heard this before in y'all's life, bro. 
in y'all's life. Let me get let me get uh, Isaiah 4 and 1. This is a prophecy that's getting ready to happen on the earth, man. This is a prophecy. Now, the Bible is the, the reason why the Bible is so powerful. They actually had to take the Bible off the bestsellers list. Did you know that? Because it was never it was unbeatable. They had to take that. Did you see that, too? Man, they had to take the Bible off the bestsellers list because it was never it was always being the bestseller. So it was like it was unfair to other books. So they had to take it off. Why is it such a bestseller? It's because it's the only book with prophecies. Right. right, that actually comes true. Now let's hear this prophecy. Watch this. This is Isaiah 4, verse 1. Hey, sis, if you got time to hear this prophecy, check it out. This is about you. Go ahead. And in that day, seven women. No, no, Isaiah, I'm sorry. 14, 14 and 1. I'm sorry. I don't want that one just yet. Brothers ain't ready for that one. You want to hear that one? Brothers want to hear that. All right, man. Hey, he want to he wanna hear that. Let's hear that one. And we're going to jump to the real one. This is the, I'm going to let you hear this. But we're going to jump to the other one. Four and one. You want to hear that one? That's a prophecy, too, that's going to happen. All right. This is Isaiah 4, verse 1. Bring it out. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel okay. only let us be called by thy, na thy name to take away our reproach you get that it's saying that in the last days seven women are going to take hold of one man but you got to understand what man is this bible talking about mm. what man is this bible talking about you know what i want let me get is it uh i know what you know uh zechariah 8 what is that take hold of the skirt of all the 8 and 23 get that uh, zechariah 8 and 23 to get you proper understanding of what man this is talking about we're going to give y'all the understanding. But it, the prophecy says that seven women are going to take hold of one man, saying that we will eat our own bread, we will wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach. That's getting ready to happen. But who was this Bible talking to? Let's check this out. The book of Zechariah, chapter 8, and verse 23. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. So they're going to take hold of the skirt of him that's a Jew. So who am I talking to right now? Who? What is y'all's nationality? That's the that's the question of the day. I didn't even get to the scripture that I really wanted to get. What's the? You said you. Hey, that's the. You, said, you ain't got no nationality. I ain't got one. Jeremiah 17. Right. I just believe in God. That's all. You got Act 13 is a good one. Let me get. Uh, let me get uh, uh uh let me get Jeremiah uh, seventeen to four. You say you're a nigger, that's nigger, and that's a, a that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a proverb. That's that's good, right? <laughs> but we say, Amen. and that's the thing. We get we get five so-called blacks, and they'll say five different things. Mm -hmm. Somebody will say, American. you said Haitian and African American. Yeah. Hey, what's your father? Is your father Haitian? Nah, it's my grandma. Your grandma? Yo, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, brother, you was a Levite. You was a you was a you was a priest. All right, so yeah. yeah. No, All right, uh, what I got? You got that axe? Are right, we get your axe first, and we get this? But I want to get to that prophecy, man. I want to get to that prophecy because it's a good one. Bring it out. This is a good one too. The Book of Acts, chapter thirteen and verse one. Bring it out. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon. So we're talking about prophets and teachers. Barnabas and Simeon. These are the people that were followers of Christ. So the Israelites in the Bible, they were followers of Christ, the, the Jews. Certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. That was called what? That nigger. Was... Did you know that was in the Bible? Yeah. That was called nigger. No, nigger no. means black. So you get other translations, like yeah. the NIV is going to say black man. So the Israelites were black, That's right. Mm. right? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Those yeah. are the Israelites. That's so right. So showing you y'all's true heritage, yeah. y'all's true identity. So who is this going to happen to, this Isaiah 4 and 1, whose yeah. seven women shall cleave to one man? It's talking about the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that claim their heritage. Right. If you don't claim your heritage, mm. he's not blessing you. He's not blessing you, bro. Like right? That. Let's get this. What go you got? Ahead. Go ahead. We got one more. We got one more. You got one more? Man, I really want to get you. We only got one more. Come on. We only got one more. All right. You better hit on the head now. All right. You better hit on the head now. This is Isaiah 14, verse 1. Bring it up. For the Lord would have mercy on Jacob and will and will yet choose Israel. So he's going to choose the Israelites again, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The ones that claim their identity to start keeping the law, sections, and commandments of Christ. That's right. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So there's going to be strangers that's going to be joined with us. Go ahead. And they shall yeah, cleave to the house of Jacob. Yeah. 
and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We're going to take them and bring them to our place. We're going to have a place. Right. And the house Please. of Israel shall possess them. We're going to possess them. We're going to own them. In the land of the Lord. For, in the land of the Lord for what? For, for servants, servants and handmaids. Right. Servants and handmaids. Check this out. I know that's right. And they shall take them captives whose, whose captives, captives they, they were. were. And they shall rule over, over their oppressors. oppressors. That's going to happen. We're going to rule over the people that oppress us. Yeah. And I'm talking about the righteousness of us. That means the ones that choose to keep the laws of the Most High God. Like, you see brothers got fringes and zeets on their clothes. Mm -hmm. Those brothers, those are the ones, those ones that choose to keep the laws of the Most High God. Those are the ones who are going to be blessed with those seven women shall take hold of one man. Those are the ones who are going to be blessed to go back to their, their land, their culture, their heritage, their identity. Right? So we're trying to encourage y'all brothers to start to come back and keep y'all's law, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? Every night, every day. So you, do you know any law, statutes, and commandments of God? Mm -hmm. Man, hey, listen, that's, that's why we're here. To it. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. Hey, can we give you a flyer? Hey, man, if y'all got any questions, man, we're here for y'all, man. We're here for y'all. All right, bro. All right, bro. Hey, y'all got any Our information is on the bottom of the page. So hit us up. We got a YouTube. You gonna see us on? You gonna see yourself on the YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, now. All right, now. All right, now. All right, now. Let's let's get back to it. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead and pull out the Jeremiah 17 and verse four, and then I want to pick back up on it, Matthew. Jeremiah 17 and 4 because this is a state of our people they're in they done forgot who they are man and the Bible prophesies that they don't know who they are in these last days go ahead this is Jeremiah 17 verse 4 and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee so you blacks Hispanic and native Indians the Bible says that you are going to be cut off you're going to forget he's going to cause you to have amnesia you're going to forget who you were in these last days he said read that for me again and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So the Most High God gave you a heritage, and you have forgotten who you are in these last days, man. A lot of our people think that they blacks. They think that they, they Negroes. They think that they uh, African Americans, man. But they don't know who they are in these last days, man. Y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible, man. That's who y'all are. Let me get uh, that Matthew. Did you have something else? Yeah. Oh, you want to finish that out? Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Uh -huh. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So we kindled a fire in the Most High God's anger, and it's going to burn forever. Let me go ahead and get Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3. We're going to start at the top. So we kindled a fire, man. Y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, y'all kindled a fire in the Most High God's anger. Ain't anger because y'all made a blood covenant with him, and y'all broke it, man. Y'all broke his covenant, right? You made a covenant by blood. You made a promise, a contract by blood, and you broke it. And now you have curses over your heads, man. Right? Get that uh, Amos, and then I'm going to get that Matthew 10 and 20, uh, 34. And we're going to get that Acts 17. The book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, so the Most High God has been angry with us, man. He's punishing us for all of our iniquities, all of our sins, all of our transgressions, man. We made a promise to the Most High God, man, and we broke that promise. Now he's, now he's angry with us, man. That's right. All right. We got to come back. We got to we got to please the Most High God, man. And how do you please Him by coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and having faith in His Son and in Him? That's right. All right. Let me get that uh, Matthew chapter ten. Matthew chapter ten. Uh, let me get uh, Ezra, uh, Second Ezra uh, six. This is Matthew ten verse thirty four. Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. He said, "What did Christ say? Think, Think not, not that I'm come to send peace on earth." I came not to send peace, but a, but a sword. sword. So Christ said, he didn't come to bring peace. He came, came to bring a sword, man. He came to bring division, man. A lot of people think that we're supposed to come kumbaya and come together, man. We think that, people think that that's what Christ taught. Christ didn't teach that, right? The, the heritage, uh, the, 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 the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, man, those are the Israelites of the Bible, and that's the most high God's heritage. 
right? We are a chosen people. We are set apart. We are holy. We are divided. We are divided. Uh, the nations are divided, and we are the Israelites are to the Most High God. We are the the blessed people of God, man. Right? So let me get that uh, X. Uh, X. He, got, he should have asked. You got asked. Acts 17 and 26 and 27. The book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 26. And have made of one blood of all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and have determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. So the Most High God, he said that he made all men from one blood. I'm sure we all can agree on that. Every every human being was made from one blood, right? Uh, right? But we're going to get the understanding of all people. Hey, go ahead and give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, and then we're going to come to 2nd Ezra 6. We're all made from one blood because a lot of people got the misunderstanding that, hey, we all one people. We all the same people. We all got the same blood. We all bleed red, right? Well, we're going to give you the understanding today, man, that the Israelites is God's chosen people. Go ahead. Not everybody. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Yo. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above, above all, all people, people that are upon the face, face of the earth. Hey, so y'all got to start looking at yourselves better than you are, man. The Most High God said that y'all are God's chosen people. That's right. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, y'all are the chosen people on this earth. But you got to act like it. You got to come back to keep the laws of the Most High God. What's going on, brothers? Y'all doing all right? Hey, man, you got time to hear the Bible? I'm not religious. You know, well, I'm not either. We ain't either. We're we not religious either at all, brother. This is a heritage. You ever heard of a heritage? A heritage is a bloodline. It, it gives you your culture. It gives you your bloodline. It gives you your, your land. It gives you your identity. That's what a heritage does. Yeah, a religion don't do that. Yeah, a religion. I know my heritage for sure. You, got, you, know, you know your heritage? Uh -huh. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, I want to properly identify you. Let me get, uh, what's, the race, what's the nationality of your father, if you don't mind me asking? The nationality of my father? Yes, sir. I'm mixed with like four different races. What, what's your father, though? My father is Native American and black. What's his father? Native American and African. African? We're not African, but what we consider black and African descent. Okay, do you know his father? Because we all it all goes back to one person. My family literally oh. came from my grandfather, my great grandfather was the son of a slave. Okay, that's a good start. It's a good place to start. So and the reason why I say that is because this is identifying who you are. So the Israelites were slaves to a certain group of people on this earth. We were always been slaves. Now, this is talking about God's chosen people. This is who we're talking about. God's chosen people. Now, there's gonna, this is a prophecy. A prophecy saying that in the future, that his people are going to start to wake up. And they're going to start to change their thoughts. There's going to be a spirit placed upon them. And they're going to start to change their ways. We in the spiritual world right now. We in the spirit. This is all spiritual. That right now, you're going to be lost. Like that's right. That's right. I know what talking about. And I appreciate you So, do you know who you are according to the Bible? You know who you are according to the Bible? According to the Bible. According to this book, it ain't religion. See, you turned you turned away from. Them. So we, as a people, we made a blood covenant, a blood oath yeah. with the Most High God, right? And we chose to break that covenant. And now we're all divided. Now we all think that we're individuals. Now we think that we're uh, Egyptologists. We think that we, uh, uh, from the from the more science community, we have a split division. Let me show you a prophecy real quick. One prophecy real quick. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch this real quick, because this is going to explain what I'm telling you right here. This is going to explain what I'm telling you. We've forgotten who we were. We made a blood covenant with the creator of heaven and earth. Right. And now we forgot. Right. We look at Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Even yourself shall discontinue from your heritage. That I gave thee. That God gave you. You have been discontinued from your heritage. You've been cut off. Because you chose to not serve the God and creator of heaven and earth, you have been cut off. But well, what makes you think that I cut myself off from serving the God created? Can I show you? Yeah, so uh, as a, I'm talking about as a, as a people, not just you individually, but us as individuals, we cut ourselves off because we chose not to be obedient to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We said we would do everything that you command us to do. 
This is what we said. And then we stopped doing it. Right? And because we stopped doing it, there was curses placed upon us instead of blessings. Right? And these curses cause us to forget. Right? All right, bro, man. If you got any time, man, we're here for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I appreciate you listening. All right, all right. It's like, hey, just, just jump in. Because I'm going to give it to you. This is what we're going to give Right. Hey, what's going on, bro? Y'all got time to read the Bible? Check it out. Y'all got time to read the Bible? Y'all got time to read the Bible? Y'all believe in God? All praises. Hey, I just want to tell y'all while y'all walking, y'all are Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Right? Y'all are God's chosen people on this earth. That's right. Y'all are supposed to be above all people upon the face of the earth. The Bible says that. Literally, right? Um, what you got? Okay. Let me get a... Uh, I kind of got off top, but let me get 2nd Ezra 6. 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 50, 54. I think that's what I want. 54, 56. Uh. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. Yep. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. I think we can all agree that all people came from Adam. We all agree on that, right? How you doing, sis? How y'all doing? All praises. Hey, y'all are Israelites according to the Bible. That's y'all right. are blessed people. Y'all got to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God and believe in his son. All right? So read that for me one more time. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 54. Yep. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So the Bible is telling us that we all came from one blood. The same thing that Acts said. Acts chapter 17. We all came from one blood. We all came from one people. Right? Hey, what's going on, brothers? What's going on? Y'all doing all right? Y'all got time to read the Bible? Ain't got no time. Hey, I want to tell y'all, y'all Israelites, according to the Bible, man. Y'all got to repent. Right. All right, come back to the Most High God, Spirit and the Truth. Go ahead. It says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all, all thy, thy creatures, creatures. of him yeah. come we yeah. all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Let me get that again in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Come on, let me get that in uh, verse 1. Deuteronomy 7 and 1. Bring it out. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 from the top. Bring it out. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and how cast out many nations. One and one. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Yeah, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. It's like the water. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Just hold 7 and 6 though. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 from the top. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. So Moses spake these words unto all Israel. So this is the people to whom the Most High God has chosen. Now let's hear what he said in the seventh chapter. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey, hey brothers, y'all believe, believe in the Bible? Hey, brothers, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, man, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? That's, hey, that's not love right there, bro. He at least acknowledges, hey, there's actually people in the Bible that hated their own people, man. That's, that's a real thing. Right. They hated their own people, man. That's in the book of Maccabees, man. Hey, we just people, man, we just want to say hi. We ain't saying, we, ain't, we don't want no money from you. You know what I'm saying? You can just keep walking, but you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, knowledge your brothers. Hey, the scriptures say, Christ said, if whoever going to be ashamed of him and his gospel, right. he's going to be ashamed of you on judgment day. That's right. And that's what we see, man. We see a lot of our people ashamed of the most high God, man. Bring it out. We ain't got time for God, man. But Deuteronomy 7 6, let's get back to that. Second Ezra 6, Bible Kusha. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 55. Bring it out. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou made us the world for, for our, our sakes. sakes. Bible said the world was created for the Israelites, for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, believe it or not. Right? The world was created for you. Because in the early testament it said that you are God's chosen people above all people on the face of the earth, man. We gotta come back and worship the most high God in spirit and in truth. Hey, y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. You are an Israelite, brother. You special, you chosen above all people on the face of the earth, man. That's right. You probably never heard that before, man, but we're here to spread love. Watch out, be careful, brother. We're here to spread love, man. This is the love of the most high God. All right? 
We are, we are God's chosen people on the face of the earth. Y'all are not black, y'all are not African-American, y'all are Israelites, right? All right, let's get that. Verse 56, as for the other people, right, so we talked about the Israelites, but he said, but as for who? Other as people. for the other people, uh -huh. which also come of Adam. So remember, we all think that we all came from one blood, like the Bible said, we all came from one blood, but he chose a special people from that one blood. But as for the other people who also come from Adam, check out what it say. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. The Bible said the other people, the Bible said the other people, the Bible said the other people are what? They are nothing. The Bible said that they are what? Nothing. The Bible said the other people are nothing, man. The Israelites, the blacks, Spanish, and Native Indians, y'all are the God's chosen people. Y'all are special, man. I'm going to keep saying it. Because I know y'all ain't never heard it, man. We got to come back and we got to... Let me get Zephaniah 2 and 1. Let me get whoever got it first, man. We got to start coming back together, man. We are a nation not desired. We got to come back and worship the Most High God in spirit and truth. And repent in these last days, man. Y'all saw what happened to Sonia Massey? Right. She got gunned down. Go ahead. Book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, from the top. Yo. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Ye... Gather together, O nation, not desire. The Bible's telling us that we need to gather ourselves together, right? We got to stop calling on the enemies. We got to stop calling on the people that oppress us, that hold themselves not guilty, man. Stop calling on those people, man. That's a death wish. You calling upon death, man. At the end of the day, stop doing that, man. That's not good. We got to call upon our brothers and our sisters, man. Really, our brothers, right? Like, I'm going finish that. Verse 2, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Right, said before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So we got to come back and worship the Most High God in spirit and in truth and repent. Man, this is the opportunity to repent. There's going to come a time that we ain't going to be able to repent. Right. Everybody's going to be running for fear, man. Right. Everybody's going to be everybody's going to be afraid, too afraid to even know how to repent, man. And we're trying to get it, give it to you before that time comes. It said, before the day comes upon the earth. And read that again, uh, verse 2. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. It said, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. There's a fierce anger of the Lord coming. Our people are not ready, man. There was a video that just came out and said that America has no idea what's getting ready to happen on this. On America. Right. Right. They have no, they are nowhere near prepared for what's going to happen, man. Right? Hey, sis, I got a question for you while you're walking, if you don't mind me asking. You can just, nope, you don't want me, you don't want me, all right, all right. Hey, I want to tell you, while you're listening, you are Israelite according to the Bible. You ain't got to even ask. All praises. You are Israelite according to the Bible. I appreciate you. Hey, but what are we going to do when the power grid shuts off? If there's no more water, what you gonna do, man? Are you prepared, right? Do we know how to make homemade bread? Do we know where to go to get water, right? Do we know how? Do we know what to do when the power stops? That's a real situation, man. They said in America, American citizens have no idea what's getting ready to happen. So the day of repentance is getting ready to close, man. People gonna be trying to call for the Lord, and then He ain't gonna answer them. That was a real situation when uh, the levees hitting uh, New Orleans. They said all. They said that the women were they were more attacked than anyone because they thought that they were strong, independent women and they didn't need a man. Those are the ones that was targeted the most. The ones that did not have a man. Those are the ones that was targeted when that when the levees broke in New Orleans, man. Right? They were the ones that broke. Hey, and they say it say that. Uh, let me get that scripture that say, uh, "Woe to the woe to the." Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Well, at, well, ease. at ease. What you got, King? Freeze up. This is 2nd Ezra. So I get, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 66. Uh -huh. What will ye do, or how will ye hide your sins before uh -huh. God and his angels? That's right. So that's a question. He says, yeah. what are you going to do? It's a terrible thing to be caught lacking, man. Yeah. And yeah. if you're not actively repenting, we're still repenting for shit we did on our past few generations, right. you know? We're still getting punished for shit we did in our past few generation lives. So imagine how much the people that aren't repenting for shit, how much more they got to pay for. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, they let their sins piled up, man. And a lot of our people don't even know what sin is, man. They have no clue, but they go to church every Sunday. They go to church every Sunday and they still don't know, man. And that's not even their, that's not ultimately, okay, ultimately it is, it is their fault because they're supposed to be studying the Bible. But their pastor is supposed to be teaching them what sin is, man. That's a, that's a serious problem. What is sin according to the Bible, man? Let's get there real quick. This is Isaiah 32, verse 9. Bring it out. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. So, ye women that are comfortable here in America, the Bible's talking to you. There's a lot of our women that are single and independent. It says, rise up. Woe to you women that are at ease. This is what the Bible is saying. Come on. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. It said, you careless daughters, hear his voice. Come on. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Right. Hey, the only thing I'm doing, I'm trying to get y'all protected, man. I don't want to see our people get gunned down again like what happened to our sister, Sonia Massey, man. That was a horrible situation that we that happened. I don't want to see that no more, man. I want to see our people start coming back and getting protected, man. That's a horrible thing, not being protected. Don't women want to be protected? It says, why? It says, read that again at the top, okay? Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Hear my voice, you careless daughters, man. A lot of our people are comfortable here in America thinking that America is going to always save them. Let me get that in Lamentations 4 and 17. A lot of our people think that America's got their back. America does not have your back, man. You don't even know what's getting ready to come to America, man. Bombs near you is getting ready to come, man. These bombs, we don't even know what's going on. Like, what, what do you do when a bomb hits uh, 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 Oak Mogi? When a missile hits Oak Mogi, what That's you gonna right. do? What's the plan? That's do right. we have a plan? Come on. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Now remember, this is talking about women that are careless, meaning women that are strong and independent. You have no protection. What happened to our sister Sonia Massey? She was not protected. She called her police officers thinking that they were going to protect her, and then she got shot in the face. Where was the men at? Our sisters need to rise up, man. Get yourself some protection. That's your first line of defense. A man is your first line of defense. Don't believe me? Keep living the way you're doing. The Bible says, wise up, you careless daughters, man. All right, go ahead. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. It says what? Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. But the Bible says for our women to lament, we gotta change our ways, man. You gotta change the way that you're living, thinking that America has your best interest at heart. America does not have your best interest, man. That's right. America does not care about our women. They don't care about our people, man. Right? Go ahead. The, the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 17. Bring it out. It says, As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that, that could, could not, not save, save us. us. So our people are wait, watching and waiting for America that is not able to save you. We are watching for a nation that could not save us, man. Our people are watching and waiting for America, thinking that they're going to save them. What happened to our people in New Orleans, man? The sisters in New Orleans got, got murdered and killed. The sisters that, was, uh, that didn't have a husband, they specifically targeted those sisters, man. The people specifically targeted those sisters, man. That's something to think about. If you're wise, if you're a wise person, if you consider yourself a wise person, that's something to consider, right? We're going to wake up. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> right, the, the horse get it. Right? He's telling us to bring it out, man. Yeah, that's right. All right? But, <laughs> the horse gets it. Man, that's a problem, right? The ox know if it's a horse. That's right. Let's get that real quick. Isaiah 4. Isaiah 1. This is Isaiah 1, verse 2. 
Bring it out. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But, but Israel, Israel doth not know. know. My, My people, people doth not, not consider. consider. The Bible is telling us that the Israelites don't even care about who they are, man. Hey, the Bible says that the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians are God's chosen people. That's right. But the Israelites don't even care. But when a missile hits, that's when they're going to care. When a missile hits America, when it hits Okmulgee, they're going to be they're gonna start calling on God. It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late, man. That's a serious message. And we only out here for the wise. We only out here for the wise men and the wise women that's actually going to stand up. Right? We ain't out here for all, all of them because... Everybody's not going to receive it. Don't nobody care, man. They say that uh, uh, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master crib, but Israel does not know. Neither do they consider. They don't even care, man. They don't care in these last days. All they're worried about is having fun. They're worried about pleasure, pleasing their bodies, man. That's it. They don't care what happened. They don't care what's going to happen. All right, well, okay, there was a tragic incident that happened to uh, Sonia Massey, but that wasn't me, right? That's their thinking, man. It wasn't them. So what do I care, man? Right? You got some more on that? A sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. Mm -hmm. A sea of evildoers. They said a people laden with iniquity, man. They are filled with sin, man. The Israelites, the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians, they are filled with sin. They don't even know what sin is. They don't even care, man. I mean, the Most High God got your ticket, man. He got your name in this book. Right? He know exactly who to come for. Go ahead. Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have what? They, they have, have forsaken, forsaken the, the Lord. Lord. Uh -huh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going away backwards. And our people have gone away backwards, man. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel. Right? They have provoked them, man. Right? So, the, the conclusion of the whole matter, man, is to fear God and keep His commandments, man. We're going to come back and worship the Most High God in spirit and in truth. That's right. All right. So let me get, uh, let me get, let me get my last one. Let me get my last one. Let me get, uh, I want to end it with Revelations. Because I think the source is getting tired of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, we get it, man. <laughs> Israelites, bro. <laughs> right. Right. What? Uh, 14, 14, uh, 12. It's 14, 12. How can I get that? Book of Revelations. Chapter 14 and verse 12. No. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and, and the, the faith, faith of Yahweh Shai. Right. So this is our encouragement, man. We're encouraging the Israelites to keep the patience and the faith of the saints. Come back and worship the Most High God by keeping his commandments and having faith in his son, man. Right. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, and all glory. To the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So I won't.